All right, let's take a look at question number 10. In question 10, we're going to be assessed on our ability to generate um, a compound inequality um, in a scenario presented in word form. So it's basically like a translation, right? We're translating from word form into algebraic form involving compound inequalities. Question 10 reads, David wanted to go to an amusement park ride. A sign posted at the entrance read, you must be greater than 42 inches tall and no more than 57 inches for this ride. Question, which inequality would model the height X required for this amusement park ride? Okay, all right, so we can see that X represents the height. So let's go ahead and declare our variables real quick and then get started uh, with the problem. So let, let X be your age. All right, so what, what we have is we have two inequalities here that we're going to be combining. It says you must be greater than 42 inches, that's the first condition, and no more than 57 inches. Okay, so don't you want to keep track of this word, very important, and. So it's like a combined inequality. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, so. Firstly, uh, you have to be greater than 42 inches. So, greater than 42 inches. Hmm, let's represent that on a number line, okay? So, we're going to do, we're going to generate two number lines, uh, the two graphs, and then con condense them into one which is going to be the final result, okay? So let's say we have a number line like this, um, and this is 42 right here, 42. And let's call this 57. In your number line, when you go in the right direction, it's getting greater, yes? And then if you go to the left, you get, you're getting less. That's how the number line is configured. Okay, so uh, greater than 42, what does that mean? Can it be 42? No, it has to be bigger. Any number bigger than 42, okay? So we're going to put an uh, open circle there to show that the value 42 is excluded and we go to the right forever. So any number to the right of 42 or greater than 42 will satisfy the first condition, okay? And then next it says, and, and, <clears throat> and okay so we're gonna combine this with another inequality and uh, no more than 57 inches no more than 57 okay let's see here if it's no more that means it has to be 57 or less. That's what no more means, okay? So it could be 57 or less. So this is 57 right here, close circle. So anything that's 57 or smaller, so less is what direction? Less means you're going to the left. Now, one thing you want to note is that if you have an and inequality, you can always combine it to one. Okay, so let's write that down. Something to note is that um, an AND in a compound inequality and a compound inequality in most cases okay sometimes you have no solution because the inequality makes no sense but if it's a inequality that makes sense um, if you have an AND in a compound inequality um, it can be combined, okay? It can be combined. It can be combined. Combined into one. That's a general case. Sometimes it doesn't work. Well, in most cases, you, you can do that. Okay, so to illustrate, let's say you have the following compound inequality. For example, you have a certain number y. y is uh, greater than 2 and y is less than 10. 
guess what? This compound inequality can be combined into 1. Since y is greater than 2, that means 2 is less than y. And, and then y is less than 10. Bam! Okay? So you can always combine, in most cases, you can combine inequalities with an and situation. So graphically, we're going to combine these two together. When we combine these two together, let's see what is going to happen. Uh, so when we combine these two together, uh, let's see. What are we going to have? We're going to have um, on the left side here, 42 is excluded. So when we combine them together, this open circle is going to bore a hole in this one right here. So it's going to be open. And then everything in between all the way to 57. Is 57 going to be closed or open? Well, look at the point in the second inequality. The second inequality is closed. So that tells us that the resulting combination of the two is going to be closed also. All right. So this is the resulting inequality right here. So how do we write this inequality? This inequality is uh, 42 less than x and x is less than or equal to 57. OK, so the top one, this inequality is x is greater than 42. This inequality right here is x is less than or equal to 57. Now when you combine these two together, x is greater than 42 and x is less than or equal to 57. You end up with 42 is less than x and x is less than or equal to 57. So that is what our final answer is, the solution is the combined inequality statement 42 is less than x and x is less than or equal to 57. Alrighty, the correct answer to question number 10 is option, where are you? Option number 1. Alright, so that's the correct answer right there. All right, so if we take a look at this question, we combined two inequalities and we were able to graph it. Okay, we ended up with this nice little graph right here. So that takes us to the question, when you combine two inequalities, do you always end up with a region that you can graph? Question again is, when you combine two inequalities, do you always end up with a graphable region? Let us know what your answer is um, in, in, the quest, in the comment section below, the yes or no, and, and explain why you, you selected the answer that you Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. As indicated earlier, we would like to know what you think. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming Regents exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very important to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We update our page with math videos almost every single day so um, subscribe so you can get updates to the um, uploads that we've made if you have any questions comments or special requests for presentations you like us to work on just post it in the comment section below a lot of support resources can be found on our website mathgotserve.com do check it out thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day goodbye